Tony Scar with BNet TV. We are here at the CCA conference in Las Vegas for 2013. I'm having the pleasure of speaking with CompuWare's Mr. Sean Timoney. How are you today, sir? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Tony. Excellent. Listen, for all of our first-time viewers out there in BNet TV land, why don't you give us a brief overview of CompuWare and why what you're doing here at CCA? Okay. CompuWare is a recognized leader in application performance management. We're a 40-year-old company based in Detroit, Michigan. We have about 5,000 employees. Uh, we serve 47 of the top 50 websites in the U.S., and we work with most of the carriers globally. And, and, and let's circle back to what you're specifically doing here at CCA. Okay, we're working with the smaller regional carriers uh, where they're trying to drive intimacy with their end users and uh, really deliver a performance and a set of capabilities that are better than Verizon, AT&T, or Sprint in, in their local market. So what makes you better than your competitors within the market space? Okay, we have the people, process, and tools to do this with them. Uh, we can look at every phase of service delivery. Um, when you think about the carrier marketplace, it's changed dramatically in the last 10 years. Uh, whereas it used to be that a carrier owned certification of the end devices and the network, they monitored the performance of the network, and they knew that the customer was having a good experience. If you think over the years how Google and Apple and Facebook and YouTube have changed that, now none of those applications, virtually none of those devices, uh, um, and, and very few of the, of the services really overall are certified by the carrier. If the carrier doesn't look end to end at how the device, the application, the network, and the content are working together, they really aren't seeing the performance that the end user gets. I inevitably remember a um, number of years past Past. I'm dating myself a little bit here. When you wanted to bring out an application, you had to get carrier approval, right. heap stack, right. to, you know, uh, uh, size, whatever that happens. To it. And now that's not necessarily the case. So that being said, what are let's say the top three critical areas that you find as CompuWare that you are able to guide the carriers in? Okay, we can help them understand uh, throughput, uh, connections, um, security. Uh, and, and really performance, you start adding those things together as key performance indicators and that becomes how it performs for the end user. Um, when we think about throughput, most people don't realize that, say, uploading a photo to Facebook, the difference between one phone and another phone for doing the same thing can be four or five hundred kilobytes. Um, Facebook only allows a certain size file on their server. It varies between 150 and 300 kilobytes. Some phones upload a megabyte and a half to get that 150 to 300 kilobytes. That's, if you multiply that by the number of users, the number of people uploading photos to Facebook, that's a huge cost to the carrier where they have to invest um, in their network, uh, in, in other resources to, to meet that when it's really all waste. That, that data that's transmitted is waste. Uh, if the end user finds out they're paying for that, that's another problem. So. Couldn't agree more with you, for sure. <laughs> you know, as this industry continues to evolve, especially here at the CCA, but other uh, conferences as well, yeah. we talked to a lot of companies regarding infrastructure. And as I think that the carriers, tier one, tier two, and tier three, have all invested good capex at this point to change into, to migrate their architecture into LTE, or a small cell, or some sense of Wi-Fi offload. So there's a number of different components sure. here within the market space that need to be analyzed uh, to see where those throughput fail points are. Is that something that inevitably your system can monitor the whole way through? That's right. So we can monitor all the way through the chain that I described earlier. Uh, and that allows the carrier to make intelligent decisions about how they deploy that capital, where they put compression gateways, um, things that they do with traffic to manage it appropriately, direct connections to content sites. Um, uh, there's a variety of different things they can do to ensure that their, their end user has a good experience. Why is it important to be involved with conferences like CCA? Um, it's because I, I think people are surprised to find out there's 100 plus carriers in the United States. Most of most people can name four or five, maybe even seven. Uh, but there, yeah, there. Well, there are a lot of carriers in the U.S. Um, and they're they're the ones trying to drive intimacy with their customers, loyalty. Uh, it, it's it's a great market. It's a strong business in the U.S. Um, and, and it's one that needs um, 
the same capabilities as the, the tier one carriers. So I want to circle back to some of the challenges, these top three critical things that the carriers inevitably look at and how uh, CompuWare is helping them th these carriers get through those challenges. Okay. Um, and what were the top three things? These were for you to choose. You tell <laughs> me which these top three things are. Okay. You mentioned one as throughput, okay? Yeah. Uploading a photo to Facebook, fantastic. Yeah. That is a congestion point as well. But yeah. there are others as well, whether it be policy management, signaling, tra uh, chatter. Yeah, and in the end, um, what we help them with is things that are actually impacting the end user. So it's battery performance, uh, which is a huge driver of satisfaction. Uh, it's network performance and speed. Uh, which, if you ask a user about the things that are most important to them, that shows up. Uh, they don't talk about um, policy gateways. Uh, we, we, they don't, but you definitely would. Right, right. The, 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 the carriers do. Yeah. Um, we're looking at the apps and services riding over the top of the network uh, and the devices. Um, and uh, we're helping them truly understand, not just at the network layer, but at the customer layer, what's happening. And we can do that because we're outside of their network. We don't have to attach anything to their network to do this. Um, we actually access their network as a customer and, and appraise what we get back. Um, we can see the whole transaction end to end. Um, and it's enabled us to find things like, um, you know, when a carrier uh, puts out a certain application, um, I don't want to name one, uh, yeah, but um, they, put out, they put out an application thinking that they're going to help their users. And uh, the third party that they hire to develop it um, doesn't close all the security holes. And login information is broadcast uh, in the clear so that somebody, you know, a, a nefarious uh, a ha hacker could, could see that information. Our tools help identify those sorts of things and help close those holes. Do you think that security has become more prevalent now in the eyes of the public with because of the recent uh, NSA debacles? I don't want to call it a debacle, yeah. but just information out within the market space now, because I think that our peers probably clearly understand that that was happening for a very long time and was okay with it. Okay. I think this comes back to something you and I talked about off the air, Tony, is that 58% of end users blame the carrier um, for any problem that they have. At least that's based on a survey that we did in the U.S. and the U.K. That sounds like a tremendous challenge for the carriers, but it's also a tremendous opportunity. One of the things end users expect from the carrier is for the carrier to be a guardian of their data uh, and to secure it. So when there are breaches, um, it is the carrier that's held accountable uh, frequently by the end user, and we give them the chance to avoid those things. Are they held accountable as well by the regulators? Uh, certainly, um, I think the court of public opinion is, is the bigger, um, uh, I guess, stick these days. Uh, it can cripple businesses, uh, but regulators certainly impose fines and, and restrictions. A couple last questions here. We didn't actually get to touch on MVNOs, but that is, is that a, a market as well? Uh, absolutely. Uh, when we talk about waste on the network, MVNOs generally are paying by the kilobyte or, or uh, uh, that waste is impacting them. It, it's it's a higher figure that they're paying each month, and it, and if it's just if it's just waste, it's it's wasted money. So I think that's a really important business m unit yeah. to be able to go after. Yeah, yeah, it, absolutely. Uh, we love MVNOs. <laughs> My final question to you, Sean, is going to be: What are we going to see from CompuWare here within the next 12 months? Within the next 12 months from CompuWare, uh, well, we'll continue to expand uh, our footprint with the carriers. We also have tremendous capabilities with for mobile development. We're helping enterprises uh, across the country as they, um, instead of trying to be mobile, we're trying to mobilize their business. Um, we help solve business problems for them with mobile tools. Uh, we went through an era where everybody wanted, it was kind of like the internet, everybody wanted to have a website. And then a lot of them were like, why do we have this website? You know, we, why, why, yeah. um, and I think there was a while where everybody wanted to have a mobile app. Well, uh, we're getting to the point that you can use a mobile app to actually solve a business problem. Uh, we've done some work with Dole Fresh Foods. Uh, we've helped them in their uh, inspection business for bananas. Who knew that this was a big problem? But if you think about the number of bananas, uh, that Dole distributes globally uh, and the fact that it is generally a commodity business uh, so there's very very thin margins. Um, we've helped Dole dramatically lower the cost of their inspection business uh, so much so that we've improved their bottom line. That's 
an excellent case study and a great testament by a very large company for CompuWare. Congratulations on yeah. that. Thank you, thank you. It's, it's a great business for us. Thanks very much for the update. I hope you get a chance for an update again here uh, in the near future. All right, thank you very much, Tony. Fantastic. I've been speaking with Sean Timoney from CompuWare here at the CCA Conference in Las Vegas for 2013. I'm Tony Sklar with BNET TV.